everyone. Back in the kitchen again. It's been a, a minute. But in this pot, I have got chocolate chips. I don't know if you can see them. Looks like I'm trying to lie here and not make it brighter. That helps or not helps. I don't know. But there's chocolate chips in there. I'm going to make homemade pudding. Trying something kind of with a recipe, but kind of not. Uh, I am going to be using hot, not hot, but co chocolate milk. I was going to say hot chocolate, but it's chocolate milk. Because I want chocolate pudding. So, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to share with my neighbor, which she doesn't know I'm going to share. So, it's going to be kind of a surprise. I just thought, hey, let's, let's do something for one of my neighbors. Uh, but, it's, it calls for... Um... That's, I'm using a third cup measure, but I need, I think, two cups of milk. Okay. And I lost count, but anyway, we're going to go with that much. Two and one third cups of milk is what I ended up with. I think I counted wrong. Y'all want to go back and count it for me? You can tell me how many I put in there. Now, I'm getting the sugar out. I'm going to get it. I'm going to use half sugar and half stevia. Yes, and I barely reach up there, but oh, I got it. Um... One of the persons that might be eating some of this is the diabetic. So, I, for years when I made for my husband, we did half and half. And then I did all stevia. But not knowing if they would want all stevia in it, at my neighbor's house, I am going to do a half and half. And... Leak in the bag. And it calls for two cups. Now I got a one fourth cup measure. So I need four of these cups. It's got a hole in it. Leaking, 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 leaking. Uh, I didn't know I got a sugar. I got no sugar. Okay, we'll get the rest of the sugar. I should have packed. I should be prepared and have it all measured out, but I don't want it to just, you know, go with the flow. Go with the flow. That's two. Three. Four. Mm. Now with it being chocolate milk, it's probably already a little sweet. Be right back. I need to go look at the recipe. I may have goofed it. I don't know. Alright. Not as much sugar as I thought it was. So, I'm going to put one. One and a half cups of sugar. I 
I said, I'm winging it. I have a recipe, but I'm kind of just winging it. A little more milk. wasting eggs. So I am putting the whole egg in instead of yeah you got this you got your eye on but I'm cutting the eye out so I can get the eggs in there. I need my bowl. Put your eggs in a bowl and then pour a little of the warm mixture on it and go from there. I gotta have cornstarch too. You know, when I say I'm winging it, don't judge. Bacon, you semi have to be uh, consistent, but there are times where you can just wing it. And if it don't work out and it still tastes good, you've invented something new. with this you will have to strain it if you unless you like the little sometimes you might get a little lump or two uh, it might get thick on you fast I don't really know uh, yeah Looking for my cornstarch. I thought I had some over here. Hmm. Cornstarch, where are you? You were right there. Bacon soda. Hmm. I have to use. You can use flour or cornstarch. Cornstarch has a little smoother consistency. I know where my flour is, but I don't know where my cornstarch got off to. Uh, bacon soda. Hmm. Uh, I don't know where the corn is. Just a little bit. I'm not using cornstarch. So I should have got this all together before I started and I did not. Oh well, it'll work out. And now you just cook it till it's thick. If you don't make a mess. <laughs> It's going to be a little lumpy, but I'm going to take my strainer that's over here. My little, one of these uh, little strainers, but I got a bigger one. And I'll strain it through it. I 
may do it for three neighbors. I don't know yet. They're all on there. Well, two of my neighbors are watching their diet. So am I. But when you're having a little bit of of a treat, I call it, you don't have to overindulge. You know? Unless you're one of those that uh, one bite leads to the whole pan. I'm not. I'm not one of those that, you know, I can have a serving or a half a serving and it's good for me. Okay. Graham crackers, whatever your flavor it is. These are just regular graham crackers. I hope they're still good. But it doesn't matter if they've got a little stale because we're going into hot pudding. And when we go into hot pudding, we're going to get soft anyway, so it doesn't matter. Unless you want to use vanilla wafers. You know, that doesn't matter if they're gone still. So. What are those on the bottom? Okay, let me get my... Let me find my... Found my strainer. See, it's bigger, so it won't take as long. All right, now this is bubbling, and you don't burn it. Please don't burn it. I'm gonna strain it because I don't know if it's got any egg pieces. Sometimes the egg will curdle, but sometimes it will not. You know, just you just gotta watch it. But I'm gonna put a little bit of this in there. I got a spoon just in case I need it. I can set it back there. I'll show you why I'm straining it. You'll see. See all that? You don't want that in your pudding. You want nice smooth pudding. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I got plenty. I got to keep going. I got plenty. Don't want to squirt out. It don't matter. It's going to melt anyway. Because put it hot. Let's see. More graham crackers. And I keep hitting this in here. <laughs> if I have enough, I'm going to make for another little paint. I've got a smaller container. If I have another. getting burnt.
there for me. That may be burnt. It's only going to be enough for two. One for me and one for my neighbor. Not for the third person. Oh well. I'll do them something another day. Yeah, y'all may say that looks bad, but not really. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm going to take a little taste out of this pan. Mm. There you go. Enjoy, everybody. Mm, that's delicious. That is delicious. Mm. All right. Very, very delicious. Sorry, um, ASMR. <laughs> Maybe that's what I should call this video. I don't know. Okay. Y'all have a blessed day. I will talk to y'all on the next one. Finished product. A little soupy, but it's going to set up in the refrigerator and get a little harder. So, all right. Y'all have a blessed day now. Bye.